Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning to me at Shacy Tarot, and for those of you brand new, welcome to my channel. I truly appreciate you being here because without you, I couldn't do these videos. So thank you for your continued support. For those of you brand new, the more you hit the like, subscribe, and the share button, hit that thumbs up, the more I can continue to bring these videos to you complimentary. So again, thank you so much for doing that. I'm doing your general reading today, so this can affect your career, uh, your family life, your love life, whatever shows up in the cards. I'm not specifically looking for love. I'm looking for everything. Okay. Love may come up in it because that could be what's surrounding you or coming towards you. So whatever comes into play. Okay. But remember, it is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I will also be doing some clarifying cards. I'm using the Cyril Marchetti deck today. But I'm also going to use my Shacy Prism Universal Tarot. And if you're interested in those, you can check that out at Shacy.com. The information is down below in the description box. Okay. If this resonates for you, awesome, all the better. I will call out the signs that I'm seeing and cross watchers, of course, you are very welcome here. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get started. I've already meditated on your cards. And as always, for those of you brand new, I always burn sage with every single reading to keep everything positive with the healing stone surrounding it. I'm very fussy about that. No negative energy is allowed, is it? <laughs> Let's get started. For Aquarius, between Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this definitely resonates for you, you want to go ahead and take advantage of the continuation of this reading over on Vimeo, okay? I can meet you over there afterwards. It's about another 15 plus or minus minutes. Sometimes it goes on longer. It depends on how much I need to clarify, but that will also be in the description box as well as pinned in the comments below. It's a lot less expensive than a private reading, but it's still general. But if this resonates for you, then that may be all you need. But otherwise, you can go to shacy.com as well and go ahead and uh, request a private reading there. And thank you for all of those who I have done private readings for. They've been very rewarding and they're all up to date. Okay, wow, way to start. Whew, Ten of Cups. That's like the whole enchilada right there, Aquarius. That is beautiful. That is what we're all looking for. That's the happy family, the happy life, the happy wife, the happy home. That's abundance in all things. Wow. Palace of Coins. Very nice. I call this a palace of money, palace of abundance, okay? Coins, of course, are all about abundance. Abundance is measured in different ways. I mean, this is lots of abundance and lots of happiness coming for you, okay? This could mean that you are very satisfied currently if you are coupled, married, in a family situation. It's very happy, very harmonious. Palace of coins means that you're abundant, it could be in the home overall. It's just very happy and very satisfying. That could be, and if you don't have that now, that could mean that it's coming for you in the future. You know, when I say that future, what does that look like? That could be six months from now, eight months, 10 months, 12 months. I've had things happen all the way up to a year in tarot, okay? There could be things occurring currently, or there may have been things that have already occurred for you. So it's all in divine time. Whenever you're led to this video, you're meant to hear. If none of this resonates for you, then maybe it's not meant for you. But there will be a playlist though for, for you Aquarius at the end of this video. So if you click on it, the previous video may resonate for you more. Remember, this is a general read, so it's for everything, career, family, like I was saying. Third card out is the Magician. Ooh, that is a major arcana. Major arcana means major significance. Something occurring in your life is rather significant. That means you're trying to manifest. You're trying to make things happen in your life. You may be manifesting the happy home, the family life, the happy wife, and abundance. You may want all of this, and that means that it's showing here that you are working toward that. You may not have that now, but you're manifesting it toward the future, and that means that the universe has been listening to your to your requests and, and your prayers and your... your um, your desires so keep that coming that means it's working that's that's what that shows me okay you apparently have some options and choices but there's only one that you're focused on there's only one that you want this is usually about love it is cups it's scorpio pisces cancer i also have taurus capricorn or virgo but this is about you know you have other cups here other options other choices but this guy here is only focused on the one, only interested in the one cup or the one love choice. So that's either you or love interest is of yours is only focusing in on you or you them. It could be both. Let's keep going. But usually cups are about emotions. Let's clarify the 10 of cups here, please, for Aquarius. 
Clarify the Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups can sometimes mean completion. That can sometimes mean that a chapter, a cycle in your life is closing out too. That could mean tens are all about completion, either being happy and fully fulfilled, or it is a completion and a cycle, meaning a lesson has been learned and you're gonna have a brand new beginning. We're gonna check out and see what that is. So let's clarify the 10 of cups here, please, for Aquarius. Because with that five of cups here, that means that, you know, you're hoping to get to the Ten of Cups. Either you're wishing and hoping to get to the Ten of Cups, to your absolute total abundance, happiness in all things. Or that means that you're currently, you know, not liking the options in front of you. And you're going through a completion in your life to which you're going to have a brand new beginning. But let's check it out. Justice. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra. The Justice card is also another major arcana. You could be wanting a Ten of a Cups with a Libra, or this could mean that you want a balanced relationship. Okay, it could mean that uh, there is justice coming in to a marriage, family situation. Maybe you're waiting for something to become balanced within your family, within your home, within your marriage. Again, we will dig a lot deeper in Vimeo. Okay, when I continue this reading, clarify the palace of coins here for Aquarius. Wow. Yeah, you're going through a, a transition here. This is about moving on to a place of peace and calm. You're just wanting peace and calm. This can actually sometimes mean relocation. Okay, it can mean that. You may be going through a struggle in, within a family situation. You're maybe bored. You're maybe unfulfilled. You're trying to manifest um, a lot of abundance here. And you actually may be going through a period of being very unhappy, unfulfilled. And you're wanting to move to a place of peace and calm, I'm feeling, that you're manifesting this. What's this justice card about, please, spirit? Clarify. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, look at this. You're all in your head. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Doesn't have to be. It can be anybody, right? I'm just calling out the signs as I see them because I know you all like to hear that. But this is about having a lot of anxiety and fear. You may be actually going through a justice or legal case within a, a, a courtroom justice within a family situation. You're wanting to move to peace. You you just want peace and calm and you're going through a period of transition. You are you are having a lot of anxiety over possibly court issues to do with with it could be a legal separation. It, it's definitely something to do with family. If that's not you, it could be a love interest of yours or a family member I'm picking that up from. We will clarify that on Vimeo. Let's check out this Five of Cups. Let's see what that's about. Four of Cups. I'm sorry, that's a Four of Cups. You're definitely focusing in on this one cup, not liking the offers you're getting, whatever that may be. Look at this, though. There's things that are hidden here. You see that? That's the moon. That's that's also Pisces energy but this is about being focused on this one cup right here you're focusing on one cup so you may be unsatisfied where you are and you're focusing on one cup or you've had other opportunities but you're not seeing them because you only want this one love this one person and that's great there's nothing wrong with that but there's things here with the moon that means there's some things that are unknown or hidden or maybe you think there is You've got the Knight of Wands here. You may be thinking about somebody, focusing on somebody, and keeping that emotions to yourself, feeling quite passionate about them. And going through some anxiety, some fear within a family situation. Wanting to move to this place of peace and calm. We're going to have to dig a lot deeper. Let's get some Shacy Prism here and see what we're, what's going on. For Aquarius, please, please tell Aquarius what they need to know. Any messages for Aquarius they need to know, please, spirits. August 27th to 31st, 2019. Wow. Aquarius. 
Yeah, there may be something major going on within a family situation, maybe something legal, something justice, something's unbalanced right now. It's giving you a lot of anxiety. It's it's definitely uh, giving you a lot of fear. You may be staying up at night worrying about a justice or legal case. It could be a divorce, a separation. You're just wanting peace and calm. You may actually be considering relocating or um, just uh, traveling. You may be considering traveling. You just want peace and calm and harmony here, I'm feeling. You're manifesting. It could be, you know, um, not known right now that you you have other options, but you're only focusing on one, feeling quite passionate and driven about it. You may have somebody else that you're thinking about, or this could be your love interest, and you're trying to have a lot of courage and strength. Resistance. There's resistance here. Either you or a love interest of yours is resistant. Any more messages here, please, for Aquarius? Whoa, okay, that's way too many messages. Let's reshuffle that. Believe me, if they're meant to come out again, they will. But that wasn't a proper um, shuffle, so I know it wasn't meant. For Aquarius, please, what other messages does Aquarius need to hear, please, spirits? I hope you are all doing awesome. Leave me comments down in the comment section. I love reading them. I will catch up on them probably... By the end of this week, I'm hoping to catch up on them. So thanks for leaving those. Aquarius. Any messages for Aquarius, please? Messages for Aquarius. Retirement goals, education. Okay, so somebody's definitely focused on their future. Okay, their retirement, their goals, their education possibly. If, if you're going back to school or whatever the case may be. This is about focusing on coins. Abundance about being stable and being grounded somebody's focusing on that somebody's somebody is manifesting a possible new love here a new passion could even be a new business it could be but somebody's going through a, a difficult time i'm feeling finding balance within a family situation it's it's keeping somebody up at night let's check this out we're going to do one more one more clarification, then you can meet me over on Vimeo. We will extend this. We're going to find out what the moon card is about, what's being hidden, what's this passion about with the Knight of Wands here. That's Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Again, I've got Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. I have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Libra again. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, someone's feeling the need to defend or protect themselves. There actually could be something going on in the legal or justice system here within a family. It could be a divorce, separation. Could have something involving children, custody, something legal battles. And it's definitely keeping somebody up at night with worry if this hasn't happened yet. It could be in the future if this isn't resonating for you. It could be a family member. It could be anybody. Somebody is wanting to go through a period of peace and calm and just move away from all of this stress. Uh, they want to lay down these swords. They want to get over this battle. They want to focus on money and retirement and goals. There's been some resistance here on moving on. Somebody's trying to manifest here their future. Could be a new love or a new business, something that... Um, Something somebody's definitely focusing on here. Could be a love of it, even a new child, a new baby, a new new business, a new birth of a new business, new love. Somebody's definitely, you know, driven here. This night is the most passionate night of the deck. So somebody's either driven toward passion of a new relationship and they're keeping it under wraps. And they're trying to have, uh, you know, strength and courage that could be what's hidden is that there's a new passion for somebody else. And somebody's going through a court battle, I'm feeling. Feeling the need to defend and protect themselves here. Okay. Could be you, could be your love interest. Let's go ahead and clarify this on Vimeo. I hope this resonates for you. Let me know in the comments section. Hit that thumbs up, don't forget. And if you hit the notification bell, then you will be notified the next time I put out a video premiere. You'll be one of the first to watch. And I'm on the live chat. I try to get on there every single time, or at least I say hello, and, and then I continue on for other other readings as well so you could try and catch me on there but you will only get notified if you hit the notification bell subscribe and hit the thumbs up thank you so much i appreciate you being here for those of you leaving me now i will see you next time for those of you meeting me on vimeo i will see you there in a minute
Namaste. Bye for now.